friends, welcome to Tally's Tricks. Today I'm going to open up Art Squad Mimi. So this is a really fun series of dolls that they each come with a different art craft. Hers is etching and I love this etching where you like scratch the black off and there's colors underneath. I think it's really fun. So that's why I picked Mimi. There are three other dolls with different crafts that they come with. I think this one is jewelry. She comes with beads. And I think this one you paint her jacket. And that one I think you decorate a scrunchie. So Nini, you glow girl. Birthday, October 13th. Favorite color, neon green. Personality, sassy and stylish. Favorite thing to do, music festivals. Art style, edge glow and neons. Fashion style, a neon contrast colors. Favorite art tool, etching tool. Cool. Yay. So I love this. You can etch on her skirt, on this little keychain thing here. And there's markers. I'm just excited. Okay. Woo! Got it. So this came off. I don't know if that's to use later. And then under here, these look like, oh, they're eyelash, they're eyes, they're eyeshadow stickers. <gasps> cool. Have you seen those like eyeshadow stickers that you can actually like wear? If you've tried them, let me know. I was looking for more instructions. They're behind the doll. Okay, so we get the doll, a hairbrush, three markers, one art frame, etching tool, scratchable paint, paint sponge, etching charm, and bracelet. Okay, so you can apply the different eyeshadow stickers, color in the poster and put it in the frame, use markers to color in doll clothes, etching, remove protective film, Remove dress from doll and place on a flat surface. Use etching tool at an angle for best results. To change design, use paint sponge and black paint. Paint over skirt allow to dry before etching a new design. Use the etching tool to create design. Okay, same thing for this. And then doll stand and then tricks and tips. Uh, enhance your artwork and fashions with other markers. From your collection be sure to tighten <laughs> tightly close caps and markers after use to ensure that they do not dry out so we got everything out of the box here's our doll here's Nini she's got teal and purple in her brown hair she comes with a little brush which is fun and glasses they're kind of crazy the doll stand Looks like a paint palette. So we have her headband and earrings to decorate. I went ahead and put our picture in the picture frame. And you just fold it back and it clips right here. So it'll stand up. Here are our markers. And on the instructions, there's color swatches. So we can take our marker and test out the color. I love the caps and how they look like paint brushes. And then we have our keychain that we can use our etching tool with. And when we're done, we can put a clip on it. And here's our etching tool. I don't know if this and means like you can do like two like lines and then this is the part I'm like super interested in is the paint so you can etch and then paint over it and do it again oh and she has a bracelet that she was wearing okay her eyes are like a really interesting shade of green so and you can also color her pants with the markers so we have her skirt 
and take off our protective film. I was gonna rip this off, but it's like sewn underneath here. So that makes me think that you're supposed to leave it on there to protect it later. Maybe. Okay, so start with the heart. And then we'll do a star. Oops. I'm not very good at etching, guys. What is this gonna be now? It looks weird. I'm gonna turn it into a heart. So we have a heart here, heart here. Okay, and this end, I don't know if you're supposed to use this or not. But you could do like two lines together. Do some quick etch designs on here. I'm gonna use the back of this to help protect my table. So let's open up our paint. Ew, it's like, it's kind of like a gel. Weird. Am I supposed to like mix it up or stir it? So I'm using my little etching tool to stir our paint. Yeah, definitely not for younger kids. Maybe not even for some adults. Huh. That's better. Oh, and I was like dabbing it, but it also works to just like brush it on, but with a sponge. Ooh, this is really fun. I like this part too. There's a lot of this paint, you guys. You can do this a lot of times. Our skirt is drying. I put on one eyeshadow sticker. I think it looks really cool. I'll put on the other one. I was using my Cricut earlier, so I have my Cricut tweezers out. You don't have to get them on perfect for it to still look nice. But that's fun. I love the eyeshadow stickers. So we can color her headband. And we can also color on her pants. Fun. Let's try etching our heart. This is like a light plastic, it feels hollow. I was hoping it'd be like multicolored underneath, but it looks like this side is pink also. Is this side brighter? So that's the keychain. Let's check out our skirt. So it's dry. I got it on pretty smooth most places. You can't really see the design I did underneath it very well. So the paint goes on really well. There. T T Tally's tricks. With two little hearts. <laughs> so I redid the etching on her skirt, which I love that you can do it over and over. And I don't know if you can see her earrings. And her headband. So nice color those. Coloring her pants was like really fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. But with her skirt, little bits of black paint keep falling off. And so I wouldn't want to like have her in this skirt out playing and then having little bits of black paint everywhere. Also, the stickers for her eyeshadow weren't staying on very well. I just have a little sticker maker I got from Hobby Lobby. So I just put the eyeshadow stickers through the sticker maker and now they stay on really really well. Alright guys let me know what you think of the Art Squad dolls and thanks for watching Tally's Tricks. Bye!